the Enterprise Edge is evolving pretty rapidly. I'm Neil Anderson from WWT, and I'm responsible for our cloud and infrastructure solutions practice, which goes across network, data center, cloud, automation, and data and AI. And so we work with a lot of customers on their architecture, and the architecture is evolving. And I would say, you know, there's three big things that are impacting the enterprise edge architecture. One is around hybrid working and people wanting to, you know, essentially work from anywhere, and that's continuing. The second is around cloud. Most of our, the applications we use are increasingly cloud or SaaS applications. And then the third is really security. You know, that's impacting everything that we do. And it has to be, we call it secure outcomes that really, really everything we deliver has to be secured. And when you sort of look at what's the impact of those three things on the enterprise edge, it, it, it really is forcing our customers to look at things from a, a perspective of user experience and their employee experience. If you want to have people you know, re retain and hire and, and be able to attract good, you know, really good people, you have to be able to give them a great experience. And that's never been more important than today. And so you still have a number of organizations that have not, you know, their, their network architecture hasn't kept up with where their applications are today. And so you still have a lot of hairpinning going through data centers, for example, where it's, it's harming the user experience, right? Not giving a great user experience. The other thing that's happening is, you know, there's, um, there's really a, a, people are having a hard time finding people and recruiting people and the, with the right skill sets, especially things like automation and cybersecurity. It's just really, really tough to find people there. And so you want to be able to make the people that you do have, you know, essentially as productive as they can be. And so one of the big things that we see customers, our customers looking at is really the, you know, secure service edge architecture. And that solves a lot of things. Uh, it, it feels like I've been working on this problem for 20 plus years where, you know, people in branch offices have, we've, we've wanted to let those, that traffic go out to the internet more naturally than hairpinning it back through the data center. But there hasn't been a great security model to make that happen. It's been, I either had to put my entire security stack out at every branch office, and now I've got thousands of those to manage and potentially thousands of new, uh, you know, attack vectors, or I centralize it and run everything through my data center, which again, now is giving a, a fairly poor user experience to things that we do every day that are cloud-based. And, and uh, what our customers are looking at it, with SASE and, and SSE is really, it's, it's a nice hybrid architecture that solves both of those issues. It can give a great user experience because you're letting those applications flow more naturally to the cloud. And as well as I've still got that security inspection point that I need. The other thing that is attractive about that is that the productivity of the security teams, you know, needs to be as high as possible. So, I want to get out of the business of patching firewalls and toil work of maintaining all that security infrastructure and put people on the most productive, you know, the real threats. And how do I, um, you know, how do I find the bad guys? How are they, what are they doing? How do I prevent them from coming in? Have them focus on those problems instead of the toil work of, this, of the security. And that's another benefit of adopting an SSE in the you know next to the cloud is it, it's an as a service model someone else is taking care of all the updates all the patching everything there and um so so those are just some of the things that we see happening we see a lot of interest in how do i connect my branch infrastructure with sd wan let those sessions go more naturally towards the cloud as well as then how do i secure that and the combination of sd wan uh for the you know, letting me be, be very flexible and nimble about what, how I'm uh, adopting, you know, transport there, whether it's internet circuits or whatever I want to use, broadband, increasingly wireless, uh, 5G, I get that benefit. And SSE is the other sort of half of that coin to me that it, it's a great security model then to secure that branch architecture so that I can do an effective 
direct internet access uh, model in my branch offices, in my work sites. Mm -hmm.